So we started back in 1991 with just a summer program and we started with just over 100 kids at one park site and now we're at over 40 sites in the summertime servicing about 3,000 kids. We have our summer program which is seven weeks and it includes tennis development, character building, and a reading component. The path that these kids go through, they need structure. They need a mentor, they need a role model, they need an activity to be part of, they need something to tie into. They need opportunities to, to succeed and so by getting them into the program these kids are not only being around mentors but also other kids are doing positive things. We have very skilled coaches who do a great job um, imparting the skills, life skills, growth development. Camps that you hold throughout the city uh, keep young people number one off the street. It gives them something to do to build self-confidence. They met a lot of uh, new kids, they made friends, and they got introduced to a new sport that they had never tried before, and it was fantastic. I, I think it was a really good experience for them. Meet new friends, meet new coaches, and we get better at tennis. It's just fun. I got involved with Sleep Over Tennis, uh, number one, because I love tennis, but I didn't realize how much uh, I would love seeing my love for the sport help all these kids. And uh, the annual picnic we have at Harding just really shows uh, community bonding and what our program means to the East Side of St. Paul and throughout the city. So. We're here to produce good people, not just good tennis players. In the leadership program, we were introduced to these different types of people who had different career paths, got exposed to a lot of different things and people that helped us kind of come out of our shells more. Very much like a teacher, you get to see them grow in front of your eyes. All of a sudden, they're little kids who are like below your knees, and before you know it, they're, you know, like trees, taller than you are, developed physically, mentally, spiritually, and uh, now they're giving back. They're doing the same things that you were doing for them um, five, six years ago. Really promote healthy relationships with the kids, whether they're on the court with them or as they're finishing up with them. And they just have fun, they just get out there and uh, it's nice to have a routine of exercise and always improving their skills. A lot of outreach, providing equipment, rackets, balls, anything kids need to kind of get them out and exposed to the game. Sometimes these kids are going home and there might not be heat, there might not be food, and we want to provide them a safe spot that they can go and study and we want to be there for our kids, for our community. So we moved here to Eastview in April and we've been here about five months. We've been here for a complete summer and we're heading into our first school year here. We knew that we would have a lot of opportunities here at the rec center but we didn't know just how great the need was until we moved in. So we've been officing out of the building, we've been running tennis programs at the courts, and we've been partnering with different organizations to bring other sports and activities in for the families here too. The new location is gonna impact the neighborhood because this location specifically hasn't been opened up for a while. It's good that it's here so we can like have fun and we can learn new sports. Recently, the City Council did a policy session on what is the single most important thing we could do to address poverty in St. Paul. And Mike Hang from the Wilder Foundation said, there is no more important thing that the city could do than create more places for kids to connect with caring adults. That's why I think it's really important for um but to like get a lot of donations because a lot of them don't pay because they can't afford it. Like some people do pay, but they pay like $5. And so I think that it's really important for um, SPUD to keep it affordable, especially on the east side. Like I myself, I couldn't pay like the whole price. SPUD is something I think will be definitely be around for a long, long time. And it's something that I hope will impact kids as much as it's impacted me.